It's clear early. Come on down. like this? Uh, before, it all went to shit, I mean. I bet we can get up there. No, it's too high. Let's see what we can find. It must have taken some really expert art design and all kinds of other stuff and really uh, painstaking uh, attention to detail to design these maps because when you look at these maps especially when you get to like the main area of some place they're all so very detailed with all kinds of intricate little details which uh, let you know it, you just know exactly where you are once you uh, uh, get there and this is like I think The Last of Us really, it, it, it's, if you compare it with a really old game, um, like any, any really, really old game, this game really shows what video games are capable of in terms of telling a story um, that video games weren't capable of a long time ago. And a lot of people, when you think, when they think that don't play video games, when they think about what video games used to be, um, or what video games are now, they'll think about, you know, Super Mario and the 8-bit soundtracks and all this beat boppy stuff and action guitars and whatnot and these really bad graphics. But then when you look at The Last of Us, it's like, whoa, this is actually kind of on par with like a television series or, or a movie. And I think if any game can really show what video games are capable of, The Last of Us, definitely. And I would like to sign a suit, please. What the hell are you doing? <gasps> Why, yes, you can take my love. You are a weird kid. So I find this safe, and it's like, damn. <laughs> like, I know I could open this somehow, but how? I, I look to the... the uh, la the uh, note that I got when I was in the train station and unfortunately it has the number to a safe from earlier now the number to a safe that I need now what I need is a safe now here that I can use uh, a number that I could I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I want to open that safe god damn it now I don't have a safe number and I'm not sure where I can find it Maybe it's somewhere in this room, but honestly, I feel like I've looked all over already. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I feel like The Last of Us is good for really, um, I want to say bridging the gap, but I'm not sure that that's the phrase I'm looking for. For really just, just, um, painting a light on how far video games have come. Um, you can tell what everything is. You can tell that stairs are stairs. You can tell what's in the pictures. You can tell family photos, old family photos. You can tell what the characters are thinking. You can tell their emotions. Video games have come a long way, and if anything really makes me feel that that's true, it's The Last of Us. Um, not that I didn't think other games did it well, but I also think the fact that The Last of Us doesn't have a name attached to it, except for Naughty Dog, um, it has a better chance of really uh, turning people who didn't really care too much about video games, or only cared about video games as a pastime, to, to caring more about the story aspects of video games. Not that they will, they never will, but I'm just saying, you know, people who didn't think video games were worth anything look at The Last of Us and say, actually, you know, maybe there is some quality to this. Upstairs, there are a few people, uh, and by a few, I mean a lot of people, 
uh, patrolling about and just waiting, waiting to kill us. So, I'm not really sure what's the best way of handling this. Every time I look, there seem to be more people around. Listen, take it easy, huh? Everything's cool, man. Take your hands off him! Hey, asshole! <laughs> Let's get this over with. Flank this asshole! <laughs> My first attempt was an absolute failure. I got the guy down, but was definitely not in the clear. So I thought maybe open combat would just be best for this. And Ellie is such a useful partner to have. My tactics at this point weren't exactly the smartest, and I didn't really know how many people there were for me to deal with. So, as much as I had things uh, apparently under control, and having to deal with two guys at once with very little ammo not the best situation to be in. This time I took a bit of a different route to take care of these guys. I wanted them to finish talking first so I could handle the guy that was stuck in the room. I tried the sneaky approach before and it would have worked if I had taken just a slightly different approach to things. So here's another sneaky approach. Let's see if this one works a little better. Just be cool, man. If he had turned around just a moment sooner, that would have been really bad. But thankfully, I was quick enough to get him right before he uh, turned his head and called his little buddies. I think maybe Naughty Dog wanted to have some kind of sound mechanic involving the strangling animation because it is really loud and I'm pretty sure there's some kind of tutorial or something that says uh, strangling is, or a killing with a shiv is quieter than strangling um, and quicker 
So, I, I, I feel like Naughty Dog maybe wanted to have some kind of mechanic where if you strangle someone, the, the people around them can hear. But I, I guess maybe they took that out of the final product. I'm not so sure. It would definitely add for another element of difficulty to the game, uh, but maybe it would be a little too obnoxiously difficult. But though, maybe on normal mode, you can have some of the uh, things not not have an effect on stealth, like strangling. But on no, hard mode, like I'm on, you would have things like strangling, throwing a, an object, knocking stuff over, all contribute to the stealth um, challenge. Just like in Metal Gear, if you knock a little bottle over that's sitting on the street, the enemies can actually hear that. For better or for worse, of course. So far, so good. I've remained completely unseen, and I only have what seem to be a few enemies left. However, there's some guy on the second story up, and I'm a little afraid that that might mean there are more people upstairs I might have to deal with. Things got a little more difficult as the area opened up. As always, if there's too many entry points, you don't exactly know where the enemies are going to be and where you're going to need them to be. Take it easy. This is different than a lot of other survival horror games for a number of reasons. One, uh, like in Resident Evil, Everyone's either a zombie or some kind of undead crazy monster creature or they're pure evil. There's no like people who are just out for their own survival. It's just you're a zombie or you're pure evil and behind everything. So you wouldn't have a situation like this where you're fighting these guys who are literally just banding together to look out for their own selves and protect their own well-being. Look, buddy, don't do anything stupid now. Thankfully, although this game is focused around escort, um, Ellie doesn't really get in the way. She doesn't feel like a burden you have to carry. Yes, your, your companions can get hurt, and they can get endangered, but, um... Really, there's no sense that um, Ellie's bringing me down at all. I decide to increase my listening mode distance so that I can tell where exactly these enemies are. I'm sure there are a lot more, but I'm not exactly sure how large this floor is, nor where all the enemies are. And sure enough, I can see four already in the distance, just waiting to kill me when they get the chance. Needless to say, I've gained a lot of confidence from my last uh, few encounters with uh, human enemies, clickers, you name it. So, I'm not terribly afraid of what these guys have to offer. I mean, sure, they have guns, 
But if I don't make them use those guns, then I can take them out just as easily as I could take out anyone, really. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Everything's cool. Given how far away they are, I have no choice but to go over to where they are. And I just need to really make sure that I, I pay close attention to where they are at all times. Uh, how far away I am from them. And who else is surrounding me as I'm about to make an action. I'm pretty sure I can get through this entire part with just stealth and not breaking into combat. But um, you never know. And you just have to be ready for uh, a dynamic decision making at any given time. There don't seem to be any people upstairs, so I'm assuming that this area is just kind of an isolated area, so I can take them out nice and easily and not have to worry about too many consequences. And there are only three people left. So, with three people left, not too much I have to worry about in case this breaks into a full gunfight. The fact that they're all sparse um, and separated throughout the floor uh, makes it a lot easier to take them down one by one. And makes it so that reinforcements won't come as quickly if I have to take them out uh, in a heated gun battle. Look, man. We can see outside again, which is always a good thing, but there's still two more people to take care of, and that guy almost saw me. Jeez, that was close. Of course, it's always better to choose your fights than to just go and run in and try to kill everyone you uh, can. But I figured these guys are giving me a lot of trouble and there are definitely a lot of supplies in here to look for. So if I take them out, I can look for supplies and move on without any trouble. Oh man. Taking out guys like this, jumping from the shadows, it makes me feel like the Batman. One guy left. Where is this fucker hiding?
poor bastard doesn't even realize that all his friends are gone. So now he is at my mercy. Which is always a very nice and powerful situation to find yourself in. Still, I prefer to go with no conflict rather than conflict, so why would I just go rush in and try to kill him with some blazing fire of glory when I can conserve ammo and items by just taking him out nice and simply? Besides, I'm not really sure if there are going to be any more people showing up. Let's just be cool, man. Take it easy. <laughs> But that animation shows me that no, we're nice and safe. Or are we? There appears to be one more person that I didn't notice before. Where he came from, I'll never know. But he's a very, apparently very worried and very wary of his surroundings. And with that guy down, I'm almost 100% sure that that's the last person we have to worry about. I don't know where he came from or how he got there, but I'm pretty sure there's no one else. So that leaves only one more question. Where to? When we went out on that little balcony terrace thing, there was really nowhere to go from there. So there has to be somewhere else we can progress to the next area. And things are just not adding up. Ellie's still sneaking, and the last guy I killed was a stealth kill. So I'm still afraid that maybe there are some more people that I didn't notice that are going to try to surprise us. Looks like there's a ladder inside this elevator. Hold up, let me try to open it. See where this goes. Just in case. That looks like a way through. It's gonna be a tight fit, but come on. Find me something to climb on. Here we go. There you go. 